Yo, what's up, guys? Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, navigation in the Dash Studios. Um, what version is this? Um, 4.8. We're going to be um, talking about just just navigation in 4.8. Um, there, there you go. Pro, I, I guess that's for professional. Like, I, I don't know. Anyways, so first of all, we're, we're just going to um, get our uh, our um, human out here, or our mesh file, or actor, actress, whatever, out here. You can call this, um, there we go, you can call this an actor, or mesh file, or human figure, whatever you want. Anyways, navigation. Basically, this right here is, is the box. Um, I have no idea of its proper name whatsoever because I really don't give a crap, but I'm going to just call this the access cube for all the accesses. Um, so, like, um, if you want to actually see those accesses, we can click on here, and now we can see these accesses because this is basically the access um, view. Oh, they call it universal tool. Oh, they just call it universal tool. So I guess this would be called universal box. Anyways, I'm still gonna fucking call it the access box because that makes more sense. So, anyways, this right here. If you literally um, zoom your face, because um, for some reason this doesn't actually enlarge, so if you actually get closer to your computer monitor, you will be able to see that this right here that says a you know front in purple, it will have a gray purple um, zigzag, which is a Z for the Z axis, and the Z axis is right here. And yes, this is a little bit important, okay? So as you notice. Um, the Z, this is um, front Z axis, um, which is why this guy's or girl's facing frontwards, whatever. And here's the axis right here, which just goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, over and over, back and forth. Um, that's that's that axis, the Z axis. So as you can see, we're facing the Z axis. Now we're still facing it, and still facing it, still facing it, still facing it, whatever. Um, anyways, here is the the top axis, well top, and the Y axis is top and bottom. So Z axis is um, back and forth, while the Y axis is um, up and down, top and bottom, which is why you can see this green right here. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what colors um, they are, um, as long as you know um, basically what they do. You don't even really need to know the names of them most of the time unless you're like communicating to a person. As you can see, there's only three axes because there only needs to be three axes. As you can see, here's the um, what axis is this? Let me just check on here. Oh, the X axis. As you can see, X axis just goes side to side. All you need is three access to, um, access points to get to wherever you want. As you can see, as I'm moving this, you can see this red line right here um, indicating exactly where I begin moving this from. But it's letting me know that I'm I'm moving it um, somewhere along the um, the x-axis. Yeah, x, yeah, that is the x-axis. Okay, cool. It's just letting me know that. As it to this point right here, it's letting me know that this was the exact point that I began moving the the y-axis for up and downs. And you see? So if it makes more sense, you can call this um, the um, back and Forwards access, and top and bottom access, left and right access, you know, whatever you want. Um, really. You don't really have to remember the names or the colors. Because, you know, you'll see it and you'll be like, oh, there's the access box, and now I know everything about that, that program, whatever. So, this right here is just, um, you know, the way you move around shit. Basically, this revolves around the object. Well, it re revolves around anything that's um, classified as the center. Um, obviously, this is no longer on the center anymore. Because I moved it off the center, because I, you know, whatever. I like it, I guess. I'm not actually going to put that on there. Forget that. So, you know, that's that. Here's this one right here, which is basically the same thing when you're left clicking on it. When you're left clicking on it, it's literally exactly the same thing as clicking on the access box. Literally the same thing when you're left clicking on it. But the difference is is this actually moves a little bit faster than this. You don't have to turn your mouse or will move your mouse as much. You do smaller mouse motions to um, 
um, cover a greater turning distance than if you were to use the box. Okay, this right here, um, I guess if we hover over it, it tell us. If you, oh, okay, orbital. Okay, so I guess this is just view orbital, um, which I just like to call this. Um, actually, I don't call this anything at all, but you can call this view orbital or different box access. When you right click on it though, instead of instead of um, revolving around the center, um, you simply turn while being in the same spot as you can see. Um, and now I'm lost. Now I don't know where I am, right? But as long as I'm looking at this, I know exactly where I am. Because now I'm on the, I'm sideways this, because this is no longer positioned, you know, properly. It's sideways this and shit. So I know exactly where I am. This is how I'm facing exactly. I'm on the Y axis, and I am on the bottom. Of course, I don't feel like turning this to actually get somewhere, because you know I don't feel like doing that shit because I'm an American and whatnot. So I'm just gonna click on this to put me back in the center. This literally just moves me back into the, the center, and that's specified. As you can see, I'm still looking at the bottom. Don't want to do that. So I'm just going to um, turn this a bit and turn it a bit like there. Eh. It's like that, which is nice. This lets you know exactly where you're going. This doesn't, however, but it does let you basically turn while you're in the center. So as we can see, you left click and you're basically clicking on this, except this goes a little bit faster. And you revolve around things. This right here, you stay in one spot and you look anywhere and everywhere you want while remaining in that one spot when you right click on that bitch. This right here, literally it just pants. So it's the same thing as looking, it's the same thing as facing a wall that has a painting on it and you just literally move in your entire body or your head in order to move. Because that, that image is never going to move, you're just moving around it. That's what panning means. That's it. Now wherever you want to pan is wherever you want to pan like that. I don't know why they call it panning, because when I first heard it as a youngin, I, I thought of like an actual pan, like a frying pan. But anyways, this right here is the zooming. And you're most likely going to be using this for using um, you know, pretty wide or big zooms. Because when you're using your middle mouse button, which is the scroll wheel, to scroll in and out, I mean, oh my goodness, it's going to take forever to scroll. Like, doing all of this, like that, that's like me like hitting that scroll button 35 times. I probably hit it 50 times by now. Probably 50, probably 80 times. I don't know. It's too much. And that's why you just use this. Because all you need to do is just click on it, left click, hold, and then you can drag that mouse, you know, um, left or right. Right, right now I'm going right, and it's just going like that, basically just going in and out. And now I'm just going um, up and down, and you know, doing the same thing. And now I'm just moving my, my mouse around in a circle motion, and it's just doing this all day. Which does look like a pretty cool effect, a zooming effect. Anyways, um, but that's, this is basically, it's the same thing as scrolling in and out. It's just that you don't have to scroll in and out. But if you right click on it, it will like um, increase the um, the sensitivity. Well, I mean, you won't have to move the mouse as much. You won't have to move the mouse as much. So basically, it increases the distance um, per mouse motion, whatever. So now I'm just you know moving it in a very small circle, very small circle, and now I'm just gonna move it back, well forward. I'm gonna move it forward um, as far as it can go, and that looks like as far as it can go. And I'm gonna move it just a little bit. Um, move the mouse back a little bit, bringing the image back towards me. As you can see, voila. And now I'm going to use the middle mouse button to actually get there. As you can see, you know, I'm going and I'm going and I'm going. And oh, I think I just went back accidentally. But as you can see, you would never want to just use that. Or you would never want to, like, really left click on here that much. Because it's so much easier doing this. But let's just say you were working with these hands right here. That's when you would use this to. Re well, first you would, you know, right click, get in there a bit, you know, faster, and then you would, uh, then you would just pan with the, the panning, which is right here. You pan it, and then you would left click it, and you get in there a little bit more, which I, I still don't know why you would left click. I mean, maybe if you had like a lot of stuff here, and you really needed, a, like, you know, to really get it up in there, then yeah, okay. But 
I mean, eh, right click all the way. Especially when it's just seal this right here. And now, um, and here is basically, it's just a center. So, like, let's just say you're like way in another galaxy, just far, far, far from home, and you know, where the crap you were, and you're like, you know, facing the right side, whatever, and you're just like, oh my god, I'm just totally freaking lost. I have no idea where I am. Like, ugh, I'll never find this, this you know, the project or nothing. Like, oh my goodness, like, ugh, like I'm lost, right? That's when you hit this, boom. And then it just center your entire perspective right where it's supposed to be. Well, I mean, you know, in the center. It's not going to mess up exactly the way you're facing. It's basically just going to be all like, you are now facing the center and whatever angle you're facing. So whatever angle you're facing that center, you're, you're still facing center, but in the same angle. So it's not going to change the angle. It's just going to let you know that the center is right in front of you. So all you need to do is grab this, and then voila. As you can see, it did not change the way I was facing. Boom. But all you have to do, if you're like, you know, upside down or whatever, is you can click on these things. So if I click right in the center, it is just moving right in the center of this. If I click, um, I drag, I can click right here and move right in the center of here, right? Um, for some reason, this perspective looks way different. I don't know why. Anyways, um, if you click right here on the top, top view right here, you're gonna be um, basically clicking the um, the front top, front and top. So you're gonna be viewing front and top. If you click, so as you can see right here, it's front and top, and this thing's not going away. Okay, there we go. If we click at the bottom right here, it's not gonna just be front. It's gonna be front and bot, front and bottom. Boom, as we can see. Or if we click right here, front and right. Wait, wait, I thought that was supposed to be left. With it. Oh, that's because I'm facing. Because if it was this way, that would be that. Okay, there we go. So if I click over here, and, you know, same thing, same, same gist. If I click here, it'll be left and it'll be um, back as well. Or if I click right in the middle, it's going to hit all three of these axes. Top axis with the left axis and the the back axis, left or right axis, whatever. It's gonna hit all those axes and give me the perfect middle for you know all those. So if I click down here, it's gonna give me all the axes, but it's going to um, use the um, negative y axis. It's gonna be on a negative y axis because it's gonna be down the bot, the bottom right there. Boom, perfect, right? And this right here, forget what this does, but I'm just gonna click it real quick. And oh, looks like it brings me back into um, Still not sure what it does, so I'm just going to go all the way out. You know, I'm going to move this around like crazy. I'm going to move this around like crazy. I'm going to change my, my view and shitness. Eh. And then I'm going to click on this. And oh, okay, there we go. It just brings me right back to the center of this guy right here. Or girl. I'm going to click on this. Eh. Oh, there we go. It brings me right back exactly to where I used to be. Which is, um, which is nice. Um, yeah. So now I'm going to click on this right here. And then, boom. Oh, wow. Looks just moving right back in the center. Nice. So, as we can see, no matter what you do, all you have to do is click on this, and it just be like nothing happened, which is nice. Well, this just moves you back in the center. So, yeah. Eh. Which is cool. And... Yeah, I forget whether or not. Wait, let me, let me just move this out at the out the way real quick. I forget whether or not this actually sets the center for that object, or it's just like no, this is the center for the object. So I'm just gonna add another one right here, real quick, and um, see what happens. So now we have this, and we have um, this one over here. Pan it, and eh, that still goes right there. Then we're going to go click over here, and then we're going to get right there. So now we're in the center of this, and then we're going to click on here, and oh, it still goes right back to the center. So as we just learned by simply just clicking, this will take us back to the default center of the X, Y, and Z axis for the entire everything, which would just be right here on this point, regardless of what we have. It's just going to take us right to the center of the entire map. So um, that's navigation. That's the whole thing. The um, better you, you get at navigating all this, the easier. These tools right here, they're just um, 
basically just navigations for, for this right here, basically. So as we can see right here, this right here would be um, literally the right clicking of this. It's literally right clicking this right here. That's what this is. But instead of right clicking and holding it right here, you can just left click and do it from anywhere. And basically it's just going to do it from the center. So it's like, I don't know why you would use this instead of this, because it's just like literally right there unless you like hit all of this for some reason. But I mean, you know, basically it's just comfortability. So either, you know, you get this or you get this and you right click it, whatever, whatever is your style, you know, basically just go with your style. And in here, right here will be, um, it's just uh, right here. It's just just freaking you know the accesses for this right here basically. Um, so you can just move this, which is the same thing as uh, some parameters, whatever. Which I'm not gonna explain because it's just about navigation, and that that's basically the, the whole thing about navigation. Um, you can use the A to go um, you know side and the and the D to go side to side. The A and the D kill key to go side to side. But only if you have this active, because if you don't have it active, the A's and D's aren't going to help. I'm pressing them right now, but I'm pretty sure you're not hearing that, me pressing them. But, you know, here we go. And then here's the up and down, which still, I, um, this is, you know, nice if you're, like, really, like, zoomed into this right here. Um, but typically I just wouldn't use it, because, uh, it is just not that awesome navigating with this. I mean, you can use it a bit like this, but not in combinations, and you could just zoom around it if you wanted to. Because, um, oh, look at that, I just found the use for this. So with this and everything, right, I could just hold the um, the, the key buttons. I'm, I'm just holding the, um, the A right now, while I'm slowly just turning the mouse to make a nice panning, zooming motion, whatever. But I didn't really feel like it. Basically, as long as you're left clicking and you're holding, you know, you have this and you're left clicking and you're using the WASDs, you can basically just drive around, just just drive around like, like you would kind of do a car or a game or, I don't know, um, some character of World of Warcraft or whatever, so, or some first person shooter game basically, you'd be like, you know, pan driving around like that, um, which, you know, I guess is good for scene checking outs, but yeah, whatever, that's navigation, and... What the hell is this? Okay, that's just this. That's not okay. There we go. Cool. So that's navigation. Um, thanks for viewing. Um, if you hate it, just um, put um, thumbs down and why you don't like it. If you liked it, um, I guess um, you know, spend that extra ten seconds logging into your account and just to um, post a comment that might take you another ten seconds to say, "Cool, bro. You're cool, bro." And you hit that thumbs up button, which might take you two seconds. So um, yeah. Um, that's that. Thanks for watching.